A lot of people talking about this one. The flags are all over downtown. The preparations for the 38th Stonewall Columbus Pride Festival. Well, they're nearly finished. You're going to see that sea of rainbows. If you're anywhere in the short north area this weekend, I've seen stuff all over the place for weeks now. You're also going to see hundreds of Columbus police officers this Saturday working to try and keep festival goers safe. NBC 4's Tyler Carter joining us now live from the short north area with more on what we can expect and who we can expect. Tyler. Yes, you know, come Saturday morning, High Street is going to be filled with hundreds of floats, festival goers. This is exposed, it's supposed to be one of the largest pride festival this city has seen, and NBC4 hopes to see you there. Columbus has one of the largest pride parades and festivals in the Midwest, and it just got even bigger. I just found out today we're trending on orbits. We're one of the top seven uh, pride destinations in the country, and that puts us ahead of even San Francisco for pride destinations. According to Stonewall Columbus, more than 13,000 people will be stepping off in this year's parade. That's 5,000 more people than last year. We are preparing for the largest pride parade and festival in the history of, of Columbus Pride. That's why Stonewall Columbus is partnering up with the Columbus Division of Police to make sure everyone stays safe. There'll be a very large law enforcement presence throughout the uh, city. We've increased patrols, we've increased different um, areas, officer presence in different areas to ensure that everyone remains safe. Last year's text alert system was a success for CPD. Festival goers can text PRIDE to 888-777 to receive safety updates from Stonewall Columbus and police. That text alert system will be active all weekend. So here's what you need to know if you plan to come down here and take part in all the fun. The Pride Festival will start Friday and wrap up Saturday at Bicentennial and Genoa Park. The parade on Saturday will step off at 1030 at Poplar and High in the Short North. We want to make sure that this is the safest spot in the city of Columbus this weekend. This year, something new Stonewall Columbus is doing. They are hosting their first ever Trans Pride March that is supposed to kick off tomorrow at the State House at 8 p.m. We have all the information that you need to know on what's going on this weekend for the Pride festivities. Just go to our website, NBC4i.com. Local for you in the short north tonight, Tyler Carter, NBC4. All right, Tyler, thank you. With Pride.